Right, right now it's time for some food. And Dean, we're talking about refined sugar, cutting out refined sugar. Yeah, from exactly. Our diets, yeah, but so the white stuff. So we following on from James, we did some lovely breakfast ideas on we Monday. Did, indeed, yes. So I'm going to show you about jars and sauces. Um, there's a lot of hidden sugar in our foods that we don't necessarily kind of take into account. Sure. Now, as a recommended guideline, adults should have around 30 grams of sugar a day. Mm. Now, some of these soups have around 20 grams of sugar in just on their own. Oh, so, I had no idea. I honestly didn't realize. Yeah, well, some of these sweet and sour jars have over 80 grams of sugar in. So if you have that, that's you. You know, so there's, that's a yeah, lot yeah. of hidden yeah. sugar. Now, we're not talking about taking out all of the sugar from our diets, you know, because tomatoes, carrots, they all have a level of natural sugar in there. Of course. But it's about getting rid of the white stuff, right. you know? The bad stuff, the, the bad stuff. stuff. So I'm going to show good. you two dishes, Lorraine. OK. So I've got a sweet and sour chicken. Lovely. OK, we've got a little bit of chilli in there just for you as well, Lorraine. But this okay. is really, really dead simple. In this pan here, I've got it over a nice high heat. Okay. Chicken breast, which is nice and lean, mm -hmm. sliced really thin. It's going to cook literally in a couple of minutes. Okay. So you want to get a little bit of colour. Whilst that's cooking, <clears throat> excuse me. Do you want some water? No, I'm, okay? I'm, I'm sure? good. Whilst that's cooking, whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> a bit early in the morning for that, okay. you know. Your throat, though. Um, we've got all of our vegetables ready prepped. Now you can put in whatever you like. Now I like a bit of pepper, a bit of onion. It's lovely. Just really nice colourful, and colourful. Yeah. A bit of fresh ginger. Great stuff. A bit of chilli and a little bit of garlic. Cool. Okay, just get that in. And what we want to do is just give that a little bit of a twist together, just to kind of soften it down, but we don't want to overcook it at this stage. Right. Okay, If you're so... nervous about doing that, can you stir it? Oh, you can. Is it all right? There we go. I would be nervous about doing just that. Just for you, Lorraine. Go Let's get it in. For me. Right, so the next stage, we're going to make our sweet and sour sauce. Okay. Now, this is really dead simple. Okay, what I've got here, a little bit of tomato puree okay. in the pan. You give that a little bit of a stir, because we do want to cook that out. Yeah. And then it's about building the balance of flavours, so the mm. sweetness and the sour. Now, for our sweetness, I've got some raw honey. So Perfect. this is... Basically, the, the general rule of thumb is to go as unprocessed as possible. OK. OK, yeah. so that little bit of honey in there, just a teaspoon, is going to give us that little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. OK, to balance that out, we've got a little bit of vinegar for our sharpness. OK. A little bit of soy sauce our saltiness okay so that goes in literally starts to cook down you can see it sort of thickening mm. up what we want to do then is just let a little bit of chicken stock in there just to finish cooking now if you need to just kind of thicken it up a little bit of corn flour and water right just in there will really really thicken up that oh, sauce good. but you don't need to do it once you yeah? just you don't need to do that if you want to just cook it down but you know, this is lovely, glazed. You don't really want to cook it too much more than that. Right, OK. OK, now the second dish, I will finish it off in a minute. I'll tell you what I will do. Let's do it now. OK. I'll, I'll give no, you something yes. to eat as we're going along the range. That's good, I like A little you. bit of spring you, you, onions. You know me so well. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, a little bit of spring onion. Let's go with some of this on our Yummy. plate. OK. That'd be a nice tea for tonight, wouldn't it? Do you know what? So, so quick and, and simple. Quick, simple and actually okay. inexpensive. OK, so there, there we go. Well, Dig into that, Lorraine. Thank you very much. Tomato soup. Now, my, my daughter, indeed, loves tomato soup. She does. OK, but I wanted to kind of do one that was really sweet. Mm. So, what we've got here, tomatoes, mm. carrots, just good, roasted. Right? OK, mm. into a pan. Lovely. Along with some onion and garlic. Okay. A little mm. bit of stock. Mm, nice. You can't get a lot simpler than this, Lorraine. Really let good. that simmer for 10 minutes, just to let all the flavours come together. Okay. Into a little blitzer. This is really good, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> we want a little bit of natural yoghurt, mm -hmm. a little bit of fresh basil. We give that a pulse. Mm. Simple as that. Is that it? The magic of TV, Lorraine. Obviously, I've, I've plated one up of for you there. A garnish with a little this bit more yoghurt, a little bit of fresh basil, That's just on the top nice. there. So pretty. And we've controlled the amount of sugar that goes into this, you know, and we've got it from natural sources. That is beautiful and it still tastes sweet, not you know overly sweet. That comes from but... the roasting. So you oh. roast it, you intensify the flavour, you bring out the sweetness. Mm. By cooking the onions down in the pan, you kind of bring out that That's natural brilliant. sweetness. And it's good. It hasn't got that refined sugar in it that no, you would expect. No, it hasn't. It's very good for you and also you could make loads of this. Do you know what? Can Instead of reaching for a jar, put that mm. into a little portion, stick it in the freezer, you're ready to go. It's fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you.